Hi friends, um, I will explain the inquiry canal today. What it is actually? It is an oblique passage that runs from deep in canal ring, which is an opening in the fascia transversalis, to the superficial in canal ring, which is an opening in the external oblique aponeurosis. It runs uh, in medial, medially downward from the uh, opening in fascia transversalis to the opening in the uh, uh, external oblique aponeurosis. It is uh, 1.5 inch or 4 cm in length and it lies parallel to and immediately above the inquinal ligament. I will show you in the image as well. Uh, this is the deep inguinal ring, and this is the superficial inguinal ring, and this is the inguinal ligament. So, this uh, canal it lies just parallel to and immediately above the inguinal ligament and the deep ring it lies just above the midpoint of the inguinal ligament now let us discuss the walls of the inguinal canal Anterior wall, it is formed by the external oblique aponeurosis. Posterior wall, formed by the conjoint tendon medially and facial transversalis laterally. Superior wall or roof, formed by the internal oblique and transversus abdominis muscles. Inferior wall, or floor formed by the inguinal ligament which is medially reinforced by the lacunar ligament lacunar ligament is actually the ex medial extension of the inguinal ligament now let us discuss the contents it allows the passage of the uh, stomatic cord in males and round ligament of uterus and femur from the uterus to the medial edges and ilioinguinal nerve. The stomatic cord it includes uh, these structures which are enclosed in it: vas deferens, testicular artery, testicular vein, testicular lymph vessels, autonomic nerves, remains of the processus vaginalis and genital branch of genital femoral nerves. This is another image showing the peritoneum and the four layers of muscles. First one fascia transversalis, then the internal oblique muscle, the external oblique, sorry, Transverses abdom uh, facial transversalis, then the transverses abdominis muscle, then inferior uh, internal oblique, and finally the external oblique. So the opening here in the facial transversalis is the deep inguinal ring, and the opening here in the aponeurosis of external oblique is the superficial ring. The cord is passing to this inguinal canal downward to the cooler environment outside the abdomen. Uh, this canal is a site for the inguinal hernia as well because the abdominal contents separate down through this canal uh, and it 
uh, the symptoms are with the uh, bulging in the groin region. So this was all about the inguinal canal. If you like my video, please like and comment and subscribe my channel for more videos. Thanks for watching.